In this video, we're going to be integrating 162x squared plus 94x plus 9 over x to take away 2 times 6x plus 1 squared. So the first thing is you're going to need to spot that I need to be able to split that into partial fractions before I can continue. So 162x squared plus 94x plus 9 over x take away 2 6x plus 1 all squared will be equivalent to a over x take away 2 plus b over 6x plus 1 plus c over 6x plus 1 squared. So that is the format we need to have. So then multiplying through by the denominator, we get 162x squared plus 94x plus 9 is equivalent to a lots of Oh, sorry, 6x plus 1 squared plus b lots of x take away 2, 6x plus 1 plus c lots of x take away 2. So let's substitute in x being equal to 2 first. So that uh, on the left hand side we get 162 times 2 squared plus 94 lots of 2 plus 9. Oh, plus 9, um, is equal to 845. Now, the x equaling 2, we'll knock out that bracket and that bracket, so we'll just have this one left. So we get 6 lots of 2 plus 1, and squared is 169a. So 845 divided by 169 is 5. So we have a equals 5 to start off with. Right, the next value I'm substituting is minus one sixth. So x equals minus one sixth. Now, on the left hand side, we've got 162 times minus a sixth squared plus 94 lots of minus a sixth uh, plus 9. And we get minus 13 sixths. Now, on the right hand side, it's going to knock out that bracket and that bracket, leaving us with that one there. So we have minus 1 sixth take away 2, so minus 13 sixths C, and so C must be equal to 1. Right, now we've ran out of values that we can substitute in to knock out uh, brackets. So let's choose X being equal to 0 next. So we've got completely free reign. Let's choose X as 0 because that's easy to substitute in. So on the left hand side it's just 9. On the right hand side, we're going to have 0 plus 1 squared, so 1 lot of a, so 1 lot of 5. Over here, we've got minus 2 times 1, so minus 2b. And we're going to have 0 take away 2, so minus 2 times 1. So we now just need to solve this equation, okay? So uh, 5 take away 2 is 3. Take 3 from both sides gets us 6 equals minus 2b. So b would have to be equal to minus 3. OK, so a is 5, b is minus 3, and c is equal to 1. OK, so um, that means our integral is the integral of a over x take away 2. So 5 over x take away 2 plus b over 6x plus 1, so take away 3 over 6x plus 1, plus c over 6x plus 1 squared, so uh, 1 over 6x plus 1 squared dx. This is what we want to integrate. So the first term here, the, de the denominator differentiates to 1, and we've got 5, so that's 5 lots of the natural logarithm of x take away 2. The denominator here differentiates to 6. We've got 3, so we've got a half of what we want. So take away 1 half the natural logarithm of 6x plus 1. Now we've got this term here, 1 over 6x plus 1 squared. So we'll want to integrate that using uh, reversing the chain rule. So the way I always think about this is I know that it's going to be of the form because that's 6x plus 1 to the minus 2. When I integrate it, it will be of the form 6x plus 1 to the minus 1. I know that the power will increase by 1. 
So if I differentiate this, I'm going to be able to find out that coefficient. So the minus 1 comes down the front, the 6 comes outside, so that's minus 6 times 6x plus 1 uh, to the minus 2. So I know that this integrates to that. So if I divided both sides by minus 6, I would be able to get uh, that this integrates to minus 1 sixth times 6x plus 1 to the minus 1 plus c. Now, I could write that as 1 sixth times, so I could write that as this, okay, which is minus 1 over 36x plus 6. I could write it like that, okay, if I wanted to, um, but that will be perfectly fine.